In this lesson, we're going to take a look at table styles in AutoCAD. First, let's look at how we can apply a table style to a table. First of all, if creating a new table, you will have the option to select a style here. Furthermore, you can choose the launch the table style dialog in order to create a new style. But once again, I can choose the style that I want, click OK, and as you can see, the table will be formatted that way as I bring it in. As with many other objects in AutoCAD, I can also select an existing object and change it into the preferred style. So I will select the table, then move to the Annotate tab, then choose the dropdown for the table style and select the appropriate style. Then press Escape to deselect it. Let's take a look at the creation of a new table style. I will select the table style dropdown in the bottom corner of the tables panel. Then I will start with an existing table style. I'll just start with the standard style, then select new. I will give it a name. In this example, let's say I'm making one for a bill of materials, so I will just simply call it BOM and then click continue. First of all, I will decide the direction of the table. Most tables are going to go down. If you were creating a revision table, for example, you may wish for it to go up so that the newest entry is on top. I'll go ahead and set this back to down. Next, I basically want to format the titles, the headers, and the data each individually. So I'll use this drop down to start with the title. Then I will adjust the properties for the titles. As you can see on the general tab, I can change the colors. I can also adjust the alignment and some formatting here as well, including the margins. On the text tab, I can decide what text style I want to use. Let's see, I'll use a title style on this one. I can modify the text height as well as its color. Let's say that I want some green text here. Finally, I can modify the borders. So if I'd rather have thicker borders or double lines, I can make those changes as well. Next, I'll adjust my header row styles. So once again, I can choose a different color. This time I'll go with green. And once more, I can adjust the text any way that I like. And then finally, I can come in for the data text and adjust those as well. I'll accept the defaults for this one and click OK and close. Then I'll go ahead and select the existing table and move it into our new style. And as you can see, just like that, the table style updates. Of course, you can always go back and modify a style. So let's say I'm not so crazy about that green text after all. I can go back into my table styles, select the appropriate style, then select modify and make any changes. So I'll go ahead and set this back to title and I'll set my text color maybe to black this time. OK and close. And there you can see, even though I inserted it on a blue layer, the text is overridden and it's going to be black. I'll go ahead and make one more change. I want to differentiate my header text from the data text. So I'll go back into my styles, modify it, set this to header. And let's increase the text height a little bit. I'll go ahead and click OK and close. And there we can see the slightly larger table for my headers now. That concludes this look at working with table styles in AutoCAD.